Peace and prosperity be unto all who's listening and watching. It's your girl, Shay Miller Wright, and I'm back with another video. And today, we're going to talk about setting boundaries and how it's important to set boundaries in your life, whether it's be work, whether it be relationships, friendships, business partners, anything. And just yourself. Like, you want to set boundaries with yourself because you even need to have limits with you. Because it's some things that you know you shouldn't do but you push yourself to do anyway, and you know it's not effective for your health. It can be critical to who you are, not only your energy, your well-being, your mindset, uh, the way you think, the way you feel. So let's take in real consideration of what boundaries are. Is setting a bottom line or setting, drawing a line in a barrier around you and how far you're willing to go with certain things i'm not saying be limited to like opportunities be limited to how you make money be limited to the uh, different types of stuff you learn i'm not saying being limited in that way i'm this is talking about having self self-respect and love for yourself so basically what i'm telling you is the best way to set boundaries is to know how far you're willing to go based on your experiences you've been in relationships before and had to go through things and you know what you can go through you know how far you can go you know what you're willing to deal with you know what you like and what you don't like you know how far you can go with different things but same with yourself because the only way you can set boundaries with others and the you know business partners and things like that is you set a boundary with you. So it's knowing yourself from the inner out. So you gotta know what you need within. You gotta know what is needed right now for yourself. So if you know you cannot be around people all day long <laughs> and you allow people to be around you all day long and you allow yourself to get aggravated, you allow people to get under your skin or whatever the case may be you allow people to be around you 24 7 and don't give your time yourself the time of day to be a, get a break from people get a break from society social media whatever it is but you don't give yourself the respect the break it needs you shut down not only, to, not only mentally but in a not only mentally but in a depression state you backfire on yourself when you don't respect your boundaries enough to know when enough is enough. You know, based on your energy, based on how you feel around people, based on how people respect you, how they talk to you, how they treat you, what they say to you, you know exactly how far you can go with people. But when you don't set a boundary, a bottom line of how you want to be respected, you set up the example of how you want to be treated based on how you treat yourself and if you don't set a bottom line with yourself and you let people go far and do whatever run over you treat you like a doormat do whatever right you let people do whatever to you then you will you know that's what everybody else around would do if you let people just call you any time of day um you don't get if you don't give yourself the things you need, the break you need, the space you need. Cut yourself off from the people who don't deserve your attention nor your energy. Respect yourself enough to cut things off when it's necessary or keep yourself away from certain people if you know that they may cause confusion in your life or cause trouble in your life. If you cannot respect yourself enough to quit something that you know is not good for your health mentally physically emotionally or even just like the way your body is on the inside your organs your heart your lungs if you can't respect yourself to cut have a bottom line with you enough to know that you after so long of using something as a coping mechanism um you can go overboard with coping mechanisms and if you don't cut things off, you end up abusing yourself. Now, a lot of people don't consider the things that they use as coping mechanisms 
as abuse, but it really is. Self-abuse is real. And when you abuse yourself, whether it's mentally, physically, emotionally, or verbally in your mind, or you speak crazy to yourself in your head, you need set boundaries. And the way you do that is you cut off anything that is negative or abusive or mistreating or not good or not beneficial or it doesn't grow you as a person off. If you know you speak bad thoughts about yourself in your head, then you need to practice on saying better things about yourself, okay? Now, it's, good. it's okay to have your down days. It's okay to be down sometimes. But one thing for certain is you want to say better things about yourself because you're, you're, you're coaching your mind to be have the lack of confidence. You're like defeating your confidence and you're not giving yourself a chance to be victorious. As you should be. You should be victorious. You should be great. You should feel great. You should think great. But when you beat yourself down in your mind and think that you're not enough and that what you do is not enough and that what you're working on is just not... When you beat yourself down in your mind, when you lose the battle of the mind, you lose the whole battle. But then also it goes down to your health. If you can't... Some people have to do things. They'll do one thing perfectly good and then do maybe do another thing perfectly good. But don't do it all good. And one thing I don't like about half doing things is you try to make yourself seem like something you're not. And ultimately, even if you do do certain things so good to a point, you're still missing a step. So you're still messing up the process. So you got all these different things good. Then you come around to part of the process and you mess up and you mess up the process by doing something that you might as well go ahead and do things the proper way instead of taking shortcuts. Because the only way you're going to fix things is if you really take the time and the due diligence to work on it. Like people use drugs, people use alcohol, people use anything to cope with their problems, with their thinking, with themselves, with their problems. And it's not good because after so long of using a coping mechanisms, you draw, you go beyond the line to self-destruction, to self-abuse. Now self-destruction can go from, you can tear yourself down and remake yourself up to a greater person. Now, it can work like that, or you can destroy yourself down till it becomes mental, emotional, verbal, and physical abuse to the point where you don't come back from it. And I need you guys to understand that a boundary is important. Setting boundaries are important. If you know somebody's energy is not good, you better cut that person off. Now, if, you, if someone's like disrespecting you, you're going to be around a disrespectful person. Now, if you struggle with speaking up, it's best to work on it and like really speak up for yourself. Find your voice because everyone has one. When you don't set that bottom line, you allow anybody and everybody to walk over you. It's better to have a guard up. It's better to be guarded it's better to have a barrier. Now, I'm not saying it's good to be closed-minded. It's a different thing. Setting a boundary and a barrier is important for mental, physical well-being. And it is the wealth to help. Okay? The wealth to help. If you want to prosper. Now, the key to success is to be around like-minded individuals. Let me put that in there. But... You have to also know that even though you can attract like-minded individuals, you can also attract like-minded individuals that don't respect you, that don't appreciate you, that don't have your their, your best interests at heart. It's secretly competing against you, you know? 
So even in that mindset, you know, there's no yin without yang. So even if you do attract the same minded people, they don't have the same motives. They don't have the same agendas. They don't have the same benefits. They don't live for the same purposes. <laughs> they don't do the things you do. They don't live the way you live and they wasn't raised the way you was raised and you have to come back to this understanding that if you don't set a boundary with people business partners anybody yourself and set a have this you need to have a connection and relationship with yourself in order to know what you can and cannot do or how far you can and cannot go with certain things now that doesn't mean you should limit your experiences. You don't have to experience thing, everything with everybody. Trust me on that one. You don't have to experience everything with everybody. Now, experiences with other people. Different experiences bring out different versions of who you are. Let me just say that. Because different people bring out different sides to who you are. And that's the truest statement. That's my philosophy. But honestly... The only way to be the best you is learning how to set boundaries enough to respect yourself so that when you're ever in a position or in a place in your life where business partners don't respect you or people don't respect you or anything, it can be anything, even family. When you're in a place where you don't know how to set a barrier or boundary or just keep yourself away from things or people or even social media we all know how how negative social media can be for your mental capacity how, and, and it can affect your health and if you're somebody who's very sensitive to energy or just when you read things you get really sad or depressed you see the video you get sad you cry you laugh we're emotional creatures so when scrolling on the web you take the time to sit and look. If you don't give yourself a limit on social media, you're going to create a strong amount of sentimental depression, breaking your mind down. Because you, depending on the kind of person you are, will determine how social media is for you. You'll scroll down. Certain Some people get on social media and they'll scroll down and they'll be very happy for Everybody who's successful in there, or everybody who's who's having great things happening in their life, they're on vacation and all this good stuff, right? And I would be happy for them. Then you have some people who get on there. They'll be very envious. They'll be very sad. They'll be very depressed. Oh, I wish my life was that happy. Or, you know, you have to be mindful of how you perceive social media, how you perceive life in general. Because your perception is your reality. And when you take things into a perception that is not necessarily healthy for your well-being, then you allow yourself to be overpowered by things outside of you. No longer do you have a connection or control of, of the relationship with you because you don't build one with you if you don't have a boundary or a barrier. You need to learn how to set boundaries. And the way to do that is cut things off that are not meant for you. Let things go that could affect you, okay? That could affect you. If it's not good for you mentally, don't feed into it. If it helps you get bring out laughter and joy, do more of it. It's cool to cry. We all need to cry from time to time. But doing the time is most necessary when it's needed. Don't hold on to the past. Nor do you focus too much on the future. Focus on the now. Set the boundaries of today. So that you can forever be set up for future circumstances. Or future things to come because there's many people that are going to come in your life and we can't determine nor change that but what i'm saying to you is you got to determine how you want to be treated and you are a reflection of that i want to be treated greatly <laughs> greatly 
So every day I'm working on being a better me so that I can have great relationships with other people. And I respect myself highly. I love myself deeply. And I cherish my life. I invest in my future and I focus on my dreams. So what about you? Comment down in the comments below. If you made it this far, engage with me. Let me know how things are going. Do you know how to set boundaries for your life? Do you know how important it is? I know people make boundaries sound so simple. It really isn't. Because boundaries are something deeper than the surface. Everybody talks from a surface level. And I'm not a surface kind of person. So if you watch from my channel, it's definitely not surface. We're going to go to a deeper spiritual level of things but i want you guys to comment down below share this video and let me know what i can share with you what i can help you with in any way i can improve my feedback love you all